one question that uh, that I get asked is uh, the potential benefits of having organic foods versus not organic foods, and is there a risk of getting cancer, for example, if you don't consume organic foods? Um, what we hear basically from the from the FDA uh, is that really the difference between having a, a diet that's heavy in organic versus non-organic, there really is no convincing data, or there are no convincing data. Uh, in terms of increasing risk of any type of chronic diseases or even cancer for people who choose one or the other. Uh, that said, uh, we know that organic foods don't have uh, the pesticides, they don't have the fertilizers, they may not have the antibiotics, for example, if we're talking about animal products. Uh, they won't have the growth hormones and growth factors that potentially could stimulate uh, inflammation or cancer. Um, and so, my recommendation is, whenever possible, is to choose organic foods uh, over non-organic uh, commercially grown uh, products. Look for labels like USDA Organic on produce. Uh, look for hormone-free. And you can buy these now um, in, in you know, places such as Costco even, for example, so you can save money when you're purchasing organic. Or you, know, you can buy them at places like Sprouts and Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. And so they're, they're much more widely available than they used to be, and therefore the price of these products has actually come down. Uh, there's a website that I like to refer patients to called the Environmental Working Group, or EWG.org. And this uh, website has uh, an excellent little feature called the Clean 15 and the Dirty Dozen. And so what they do is they have researchers from the Environmental Working Group who go out all over the United States and sample the produce from supermarkets around the United States looking for the cleanest and the dirtiest in terms of toxic load in the produce. And what you can do is that each year they, they publish a new list of the clean 15 and dirty dozen and they basically will tell you sort of 1 through you know, 15 and 1 through 12 uh, which produce are, are the less, least toxic and which ones are the most toxic. And so to save money you, you basically can go to the um, clean 15 list and say those are the ones that are the cleanest and therefore I don't need to buy them in, in organic. Whereas the dirty dozen ones, and by the way the top of the dirty dozen is the apple which is supposed to keep the doctor away, uh, turns out is the most toxic of, of the produce, uh, that, those are the ones that you would want to spend the money on and, and probably buy it organic. But uh, in general I'd rather you have uh, you know, fruits and vegetables than in, in any form or fashion that you can uh, than not. Uh, so if money is an issue, I'd rather you know patients just go ahead and get those because consuming diets that are rich in plant products um, is is likely better in terms of reduction of cancer risk and and risks of other chronic diseases. For an interactive tool to learn more about your colon cancer and your personalized treatment options, go to mycoloncancercoach.org.